experiment. To illustrate Le Chatelier's principle by demonstrating the effects of both concentration changes and temperature changes on the reaction, Fe3 plus plus CNS minus in equilibrium with the complex Fe CNS2 plus. In this experiment, we will study the effect of A concentration and B temperature change on the equilibrium reaction shown on the screen. We will use iron 3 chloride, FeCl3, as the source of Fe3 plus ions, and potassium thiocyanate, KCNS, as the source of the CNS minus ions. Fe3 plus ions are yellow, and CNS minus ions are colourless. However, when the two ions combine, an equilibrium reaction is set up involving the ferrothiocyanate ion. This is a complex ion of formula Fe. CNS2 plus and is coloured red. In part A of this experiment we will investigate the effect of concentration on this equilibrium reaction. Mix together about 5 cm cubed of a solution of iron 3 chloride and one drop of potassium thiocyanate solution in a test tube. Note that a red colour is observed. The red colour is caused by the formation of Fe CNS2 plus as shown on the screen. Since the red colour is observed, the equilibrium must lie on the right hand side of the equation shown on the screen. In the fume cupboard, add in some concentrated hydrochloric acid until a colour change is observed. In keeping with Le Chatelier's principle, the red colour disappears as the equilibrium is shifted to the left hand side of the equation, shown on the screen, to absorb the Cl- ions added. Now add in some potassium thiocyanate solution. Note that a red colour is observed. In keeping with Le Chatelier's principle, the solution becomes red because the equilibrium is shifted to the right hand side of the equation shown on the screen in order to absorb the thiocyanate ions added. This concludes the first part of the experiment to illustrate Le Chatelier's principle by demonstrating the effect of concentration on the equilibrium reaction between iron 3 chloride and potassium thiocyanate. In part B of this experiment, we will investigate the effect of temperature on the equilibrium reaction shown on the screen. The effect of heat on the equilibrium is more difficult to show, so we will dilute the solutions used in the first part of the experiment to try show the colour changes more clearly. Each of the solutions used in the first part of the experiment has been diluted to a concentration of only 0.01 moles per litre in order to try see the colour changes more clearly. Mix together about 5 cm cubed of the diluted solutions of iron 3 chloride and 5 cm cubed of potassium thiocyanate in a test tube. 
Note the appearance of the red colour. Divide the solution among three test tubes. Place one test tube in hot water, one in ice, and leave the third at room temperature. Note that the red colour becomes lighter in the test tube placed in hot water. In this case, the equilibrium shifts to the left of the equation shown on the screen, that is, the direction of the endothermic reaction. This takes place in order to absorb the added heat. Therefore, the red colour becomes lighter and the yellow colour appears. This observation is in keeping with Le Chatelier's principle. In the test tube placed in ice, the equilibrium mixture should become more red, but this is hard to detect. In this case, the equilibrium shifts to the right of the equation shown on the screen. This shift to the right takes place in order to supply the heat that has been removed. Therefore, the colour changes to red. This, again, is in keeping with Le Chatelier's principle. We conclude that adding heat favours the direction of the endothermic reaction and removing heat favours the direction of the exothermic reaction. This concludes the second part of the experiment to investigate the effect of temperature on the equilibrium reaction between iron 3 chloride and potassium thiocyanate. This concludes the experiment.